This is Parabnormal Magazine. Parabnormal. I have uh, two uh, pieces in it. It says here on the back that the main article in this issue is Joyce Carol Oates's second exploration of grotesquerie, The Collector of Hearts by Denise Nobe. Okay, and that's an essay I wrote about um, about a you know her, a short story collection called The Collector of Hearts. Okay, and I also have another thing in here, which is a poem, Cry of the Banshee by Denise No. What is the cry of the Banshee? What could that shriek possibly be? But Jephthah's burnt offering, a child who could never sing, the child he was sworn to kill, a sacrificed child who still yearns for a universe she can never see, her spirit still mourning her virginity. Okay. And the cry of the banshee is like an old um, Celtic uh, legend of, you know, a cry that comes out when somebody's about to die. And um, the story of Jephthah's burnt offering is that he made a promise to God that he would sacrifice the next thing that came in to the door. And he was expecting a goat or lamb, but instead it was his daughter. And she was given 30 days to mourn her virginity. And the reason for the mourning of the virginity was not just that she wouldn't have sex, but that she couldn't become a mother. And it was considered kind of a disgrace for a Hebrew woman to die childless. And she was, after that, I guess she was sacrificed or killed, or that would be the usual interpretation of it. Okay, I'll, I'll read it again. Cry of the Banshee. What is the cry of the banshee? What could that shriek possibly be? But Jephthah's burnt offering, a child who could never sing, the child he was sworn to kill, a sacrificed child who still yearns for a universe she can never see, her spirit still mourning her virginity. Hope you like hearing that. Bye.